why do you think it's such a challenge to get airborne transmission accepted? Um, that is a difficult and interesting question. And I, and I have thought a lot about it and, and uh, discussed it with, with other scientists and, and policymakers. And I will give you my best interpretation. I think it's, there is one reason, which is history, which during all of human history until basically 1900, we thought that diseases mostly went through the air. And around that time, it was discovered, you know, cholera goes through water and malaria goes through mosquitoes and uh, purple fever goes through the hands. And these were diseases that forever we have thought for millennia that they were going through the air. So then it is realized that that's not the case. And there is a, you know, there is a movement within the medical community to, to say, well, maybe this air transmission was a superstition. And then suddenly the 20th century until the COVID pandemic is like, oh, the airborne transmission is very, very difficult. So all the medical doctors, all the public health officials have been educated in this is something that's very, very unlikely. There's only a few diseases like tuberculosis and measles, but otherwise it's very difficult. So that is one reason, but then that's not the only reason. The, I think the second reason is that it is very inconvenient. It's inconvenient to power, uh, talking clearly, both, you know, if you get infected because you didn't wash your hands, it's your fault. It's, there is no liability for anyone. Now, if you get infected in your office, in your school, whatever, because you inhaled that air and that air had a pathogen, that's something that could have been prevented by measures that your office or your school, whatever, could have taken. And they have a liability. So both to save that expense and, and to save the liability and, and, and just the just our, our society, and partially because of their history, our buildings are not ready for urban transmission. You know, we thought this was not important, therefore we don't have enough ventilation. And this is in all the countries and in all the buildings and even in the White House. And, you know, so so this is, I, I think it's, if we simplify it, it boils down to those two reasons. Hmm. That's really interesting.